Hello everyone, welcome to today's tutorial. I'm Susan from Tiara Lace Crochet and today I'd like to share with you how to crochet this beautiful Clooney edging. I found the pattern for this edging in this little book by Lady Duff Gordon in her book of Irish and Clooney Crochet. You can access this free on the internet at this web address, theantiquepatternlibrary.org. This is the full address should you need it. However, if you just type in Lady Duff Gordon, etc., it'll take you straight to it. So it's a PDF and you just print it off, it's all free. And today we'll be looking at the first edging together. So it's Clooney Edge number one. If you can't access this online, here we go. If you'd like to do a screenshot, there it is. And here is a close-up of the photograph of the lace. Right, let's get started. In the pattern it suggests using a number 40 thread with a 10, a number 10 hook, which is far too fine for what we need to do today. So we're going to start with a DK cotton yarn and a 3.5 millimeter hook, but you can use whatever thread, whatever yarn, hook, etc you prefer. So for the first row we're going to start with eight chains and a double crochet into the eighth stitch. That would be the eighth stitch from our hook. So let's do that. So here we are. I've got my 3.5 millimeter hook, my DK cotton thread, a slip knot on my hook, and now we're going to just chain eight. Try to keep your chains as close together as you can. This type of um, crochet work, when you're doing lace or any edgings, it looks far neater if your tension isn't too loose. Let's just check. Two, four, six, eight. So we need eight and then we need to do a double crochet into the eighth chain. So that's the eighth chain from our hook. I tend to just go into the bottom chain. There we go. Now we've made loop. Next, let's have a little look what it suggests we do next. So we've done our double crochet into the eighth stitch and then we need to be mindful of this little asterisk for our repeats. We need six chain stitches and then we turn and double crochet into the double crochet that we made here and that'll form a loop. And then we need to make one space. So let's go ahead and do that. Chain six. Turn. And then work a double crochet into the double crochet, just there. And then it said to make one space. Now to do your space, just chain two and double crochet into the third chain. Skip two into that third chain along work a double crochet. Now the stitches are facing, the back of the chains are facing you so you could either flip it over to look or you can just count those little bumps. So skip two and into that third one along a double crochet and now you've got your space. And then we need to repeat. So just get the pattern again for you. We've done our six chain stitches turned, done a double crochet into the double crochet forming a loop 
and then we've done our one space. So we keep repeating from here to here for the length required. Now I worked, so I had 17 of these loops along one edge because I found it the pattern works out in multiples of five loops plus two. So any multiple of five plus two and you'll have enough to make the um, little scallops balanced or they balance out. Right, so we'll start again with this sequence. Chain six, one, two, three, four, five, six, turn and then double crochet back into that double crochet at the bottom and that gives you your loop. There we go. Next chain two and work a double crochet in the next double crochet along, skipping over two chains. Once again, chain six, one, two, three, four, five, six, turn, double crochet into your double crochet at the base of those chains. And that gives you another loop. Chain two and double crochet, skipping over two chains, double crochet in the next double crochet along. Chain six. Turn and double crochet into the double crochet at the base of those chains. Make your space, chain two, skip two and double crochet in the next double crochet. So you'll continue that sequence until you have as many of these loops on the side as you need. So this is row one. Right, I'll see you in a minute at the end of row one. This is how it looks at the end of round one and you'll have 17 of these offset loops. Okay, so what we need to do now is we've reached the length we require and it says at the end of the first row to turn and to slip stitch to the loop. So we slip stitch in there. Now it doesn't tell you in the pattern to work your way up to the top of the loop, but you do need to do that by slip stitching in these chains. So you reach the top of the loop. should be fine to do about three. Let's just have a look. One, two, three. That'll be fine. Right, so that brings us to the top of this loop here. And next it says chain 10 or 10 chain stitches and a slip stitch over the next loop. So off we go. Chain 10, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And next, the next loop here, we need to do a slip stitch in there. There we go, and that's how it's looking. Next 
we need to do six chains. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then it says to slip stitch back into the fourth stitch. So this is our fourth one, two, three, four. So slip stitch back in there. Forming a pico. Next, we need to chain three, or it says in the pattern three chain stitches, which is just the same. And this forms a pico loop. So next, we're going to skip a loop here, skip this one, and into this loop. we're going to make a cluster of four double treble crochets. So yarn over three times for your double treble crochet. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, then yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And again, yarn over three times, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through. And because you did a yarn over three times, you need to yarn over and pull through two, three times, two and three. And again, yarn over three times, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through. And again, yarn over, pull through two, three times. And we need to do four of these. So four double treble crochets to each cluster until you have five stitches on your hook or five loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all five. Then nudge those stitches round because we need to fit another four in soon. Next, we'll have a little look at the pattern. It says, We've done the cluster of four double treble crochets and now we need to do one pico loop. So we'll do our pico loop which is chain four, sorry chain six. Just check two, four. Wait for the focus, two, four, five, six and then go into the fourth stitch or into the skip two stitches from your hook and then go into the next one with a slip stitch and then chain three. Now you repeat exactly what we've done here. So you repeat working your clusters. I'll just do that one more time. So yarn over three times back into the loop, yarn over and pull through two, three times, leaving two loops on your hook, and then yarn over three times, insert, yarn over, pull through two, three times, And when you have your five loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all five. And then do a pico loop. So that is chain six. Go into the fourth chain you made with a slip stitch. And chain three. Now continue doing this until you've got a total of four of these clusters in here. And then you end with a pico loop as well.
So continue doing that and I'll meet you in a sec. So there we've completed the four double treble crochet clusters into this loop and in between we've got pico loops. Next we did, well I've done a pico loop and we're going to skip the next loop and into this loop we do a slip stitch. And now we start the repeat. So you'll chain 10 slip stitch in the next loop, pico loop, skip a loop and work your clusters into here just like you have done there. End with a pico loop, skip a loop and do 10 chains. So I'll just do the 10 chains here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then slip stitch here. So all you need to do is rewind the video back now to here and you do your you'll do your pico loop and work your clusters skipping over this loop into this one here. So that's the pattern for row two. And you'll end with 10 chains in these last two loops. So you'll end with a slip stitch, 10 chains and a slip stitch, just like you started here. So go ahead and I'll meet you at the end of row two. Don't forget to skip your loops here between on before and after your cluster. At the end of row two, instead of chaining 10 and then slip stitching into this loop, and you then have to slip stitch up the loop to get back to the top, it's perhaps easier to actually just chain four and then do a treble crochet into the loop. So yarn over twice, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. And there you're at the top of the loop. Then you turn your work and slip stitch into the loop. And now you're ready to start row three. Okay, so that's just a little um, tip. Saves you slip stitching up the loop. Right, so for the third row, here we go. We need a pico loop and a treble crochet into the clusters. And we need to repeat this three times and then do another pico loop and repeat from here. So let's go ahead with that little sequence. So we already know how to do a pico loop. Six chains, one, two, three, four. A little tip is sometimes I'll put my finger and thumb there and then do the five and six and because I know that is where I need to work the pico. I don't have to do any counting or you can just see it by eye and do your pico and then chain three. One, two, three. Now we need to do a treble crochet into the top of the cluster. So you just yarn over twice, find the top of your cluster, which is just here. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. That's how it's looking. Now we need to do another pico loop, 
So chain six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Into the fourth chain we made. And I tend to go under two loops and slip stitch. And then chain three, one, two, three. Then yarn over twice and find your next cluster. Insert your hook into the top of the cluster. Oops, I missed it there. Right, let's be careful here. There we go. And complete your treble crochet. One, two, and through the last two. And that's how it looks. So once again, we need to do our pico loop. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And into that fourth chain, work a pico. And then chain three, one, two, three. I should have said work a slip stitch into that fourth stitch. It gives you a pico. Then you jump over this pico loop and work a treble into the top of that cluster. Like so. And another pico loop. There's your six chains. Slip stitch in the fourth chain. And then chain three. And work another treble, sorry, another, yes, another treble crochet into the top of your next cluster. So that has completed the work over the cluster. And we need to do another pico loop. One two, three, four, five, six. Slip stitch in the fourth chain and then three chains. And next we're going to skip over this pico loop and find the 10 chain loop and slip stitch in there. And once again, we're going to repeat. So we'll start the sequence again with a pico loop. So six chains, two, three, four, five, six. Slip stitch in the fourth chain, chain three, one, two, three, and once again, treble crochet into your cluster, the top of your cluster stitches, and pop a pico loop in between each of them. So repeat this sequence all the way to the end of row three. So we'll just have a little peep at it. There we go. So this is a little easier than row two. In fact, I think row two is the most time consuming. There we go. So I'll see you at the end of row three, where we will end with a slip stitch here 
but I'm going to show you that we can actually, after the pico, do a double crochet. So it'll bring us up to the top of the stitch so we don't have to slip stitch up. Here we are at the end of row three. I did suggest making a double crochet here instead of the three chains but it really didn't work out well so I've just gone ahead, made a pico loop and slip stitched in the last loop here, the last ten chain loop. So to start row four I think it's easier to just chain one and turn and then work some slip stitches up this chain to the next pico. You have to slip stitch into the chain if you went into the space you just end up with a length of chains. So. There we go. So here we are now, just next to this pico loop. I'm going to slip stitch in there and we'll have a look at the pattern for row four. So we need to start with eight chain stitches and one slip stitch over each loop, making two slip stitches over the centre loop, making six loops over five pico loops, joining near the pico. Right, let's have a go at that. So if we start now, It's a little bit difficult to know whether you start to the right or left of the pico so I think we'll just start here and do eight chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. In this row there are no picos at all. Okay so if we go Next to this one, I think I'll go in just to the side of it rather than risk just haphazardly looping it in there and then work eight chains again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. Okay, so we're now, I think we're at the top, yes, so it's in between the middle two clusters, this one here. This is where we have to do our, uh, I know we can go in there, that's fine, you don't have to go into the chain. Just chain five, one, two, three, four five and then slip stitch on the other side of that pico and then go ahead and chain eight one two three four five six seven and eight so there we've got our five chain loop over that little pico there and now we're going to do I'm going to pop it in just to this side of the pico a slip stitch and chain eight again one two three four five, six, seven, eight. Come over to the next pico and once again I'm just going to secure it down there and then again chain eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
and eight and then over here once again I'm going to go just to this side of the pico sorry about the focus there we go and then again chain eight one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, right, let's have a little look now. We're coming over now to these next clusters, and this is going to be the central one. So Again, going to try and get my hook just to the side of that pico and slip stitch and chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and then as I said before. We're at the top and we just need to do a slip stitch in there and then five chains one two three four five and the other side of the pico a slip stitch and you just keep repeating this sequence so if I pop this down now so you can have a clearer view. Zoom out a little. There we go. This is the top. There we go. And we have that little eight chain loop there. So hopefully that makes sense. There we go. Okay, so just continue with this sequence to the end of the row. And I'll meet you in a few moments. So at the end of row four, going to instead of doing an eight chain loop we're going to do chain four and then do a treble crochet just before that last pico there and this will bring us to the center of the loop so there we have completed row four. This is how it's looking at the end. So for row five, we need to do a pico loop and a slip stitch and repeat for each loop, making one extra pico loop for the point at the center of each scallop. Right, so I think some of you may have noticed I forgot to change back to my smaller hook. So I didn't undo it or anything because it's just a demonstration, but there you go. Right, so we're now at the end of row four. I'll just turn to do row five. And we're going to chain six, one, two, three, four, five, six for our pico loop and then chain another three. One, two, three. So in the next eight chain loop, we're just going to slip stitch. 
we do another pico loop one two three four five six slip stitch in the fourth chain chain three and now we just go ahead and slip stitch straight into that five chain loop at the top of the scallop and we go ahead and make another pico loop so chain six slip stitch in your fourth chain chain three and then slip stitch back in to the five chain loop and that completes the top of the scallop next continue with your pico loops one two three four chain three and in the next eight chain loop slip stitch okay so we'll just work over this little middle section chain six slip stitch into your fourth chain chain three and then find your next eight chain loop and slip stitch over that chain six slip stitch into your fourth chain chain three and then slip stitch into the next or over the next eight chain loop six chains slip stitch into the fourth chain chain three find your next eight chain loop and slip stitch over that chain six again slip stitch in the fourth chain chain three and then find your next eight chain loop and slip stitch in there then one more pico loop one two three four five six slip stitch in the fourth chain chain three and then we're near where we're at the top or the bottom depending which way up you have your lace and we're ready to do the top pico right so I'll lay this down now zoom out a little and of course it is a lace that needs blocking or a light steam pressing depending on what fabric you've used and you just fiddle around with it and that is how it looks there we go so here we have the center if I can just I'll just remove my hook from there and then maybe 
I turn it round this way, get a better idea. There we are. And of course, this isn't blocked, like I said, so. Right, so you just work exactly the same way, right to the end. And you'll end in, you'll do your pico loop in this last tip of this shell and do a pico and slip stitch and another pico and slip stitch. And that's it. You'll have finished your lace. So if I just get the original one I did in a cotton, have a little look and see the finished piece once again. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial. It's been something a little different. Although I have done some lace demonstrations before and used an old book, a vintage book. So do let me know if you enjoy this style of crochet and we'll have a look at making some more things from this little pamphlet. Okay, take care and see you soon.